does it taste like? Grass. Can you carry these? Um, I'll just hand. So for the the cane, you have to get it. It's too sharp. You have to get it cleaned up. So you have to get all the leaves off of it. Because if you don't, you get a lot of trash in your juice when you're squeezing it, and it causes. Um, it's called skimmings, but it foams up when you cook it. So you have to go through and strip all of the leaves off of it. And it's usually easiest to do that in the field when it's standing. So we spent how many hours down here, Sydney? It's an hour per row. Two, four, six, I think there's 12 rows. So I think it's 12 hours to strip all of this. And now we're cutting it down. Probably took half an hour from our show. Yeah, so is all, all that back there stripped early? Yeah. But it's still got some leaves on it. It's a smaller one. Huh? Papa yeah, said we'll, we'll, we'll um, take it off when we get there and also we could um, get it out. Okay. Only strain the Now I did ask on Instagram the other day what people usually do with these heads and um, I had several suggestions some, because they're really beautiful and I'm sure they have some sort of medicinal qualities too but I just don't know anything about sorghum. So, um, But we did have some suggestions for using them for um, uh, like putting a preservative on them and using them for Christmas decorations. Uh, like to put on the tree and then some people said they would use these as um, for like a switchel or some sort of tincture I think I might try several different things with these if you have any suggestions if you'll leave those in the comments um, that would be great because we have a ton of them so I need to do something with them for sure
cows did you have? 33. Was it a dairy? Fresh and cured. Was it a dairy, dairy farm? Uh, Where was it at? We were at uh, Silver Valley. Okay. That's what I was raised at. That's up in the mountains? No. Above did. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I like going to oh, yeah. the field. Oh, yeah. We'll get up, milk them cows, and go to school. Yeah. Come back. We got one morning real early and milk them, went to the beach and come back and milk them at night. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's we had time to do it. <laughs> I'm a lion because I have a mane. Yeah, you are. Maybe starting this tomorrow. Maybe. Why is that? Because we got a lot. <laughs> you just worried. Most we've ever had. You just worried that it's gonna be too much to do in one day. Yeah. It's gonna take, I mean, it'll take all day to squeeze all that. Yeah. But I may just get up early in the morning, four o'clock or something, and start. start cooking by like 8 and I can get it done tomorrow. It's going to be 10 hours of cooking. Can I just did. But we'll 
we'll still have plenty to do on Saturday. Yeah. Help to do what? Do There's what? no shortage of stuff to do. <laughs> I just mean for our spectators who are coming. I wanted them to be able oh, to yeah. have stuff for them to see and do and experience on Saturday. Daddy, yes, buddy. Um, to do what? To cook molasses. Oh, uh, to. So is this more than y'all have ever, ever planted? Yeah. Like this is the most y'all have ever done? Yeah. Okay. That's what Daddy said. Okay. I don't really remember. Alright, well we're tired. We're headed home to eat some lunch and um, we'll wrap this video up for the day and see if we need to get started on molasses, molasses for tomorrow instead of waiting for Saturday. So, um, so we'll put out another video when we get that done. Alright, you want to say goodbye? Bye! Bye. <laughs> see you next time. Hello everybody! We're just trying to make Mama mad when she uh, edits the video. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lens. Say, hey Mama!